So for my recent trip to Italy, I bought a new helmet and I've just finished pimping it up. So this is pimp up my helmet. The Nolan N92 with Bluetooth. And this helmet is much better than the relative piece of crap that I was using. Now I prefer modular helmets because modular helmets allow me to get my head in and out without too much pain and discomfort. It also has the pin lock system, and I was very happy to find out that it already had the plastic insert built in, so I didn't have to fidget with it and try to figure it out myself. Um, uh, my old ProCycle KX5 also had pin lock, but it just never worked. I don't know why. I could never get the insert to, to seal properly, and leaving always these big, ridiculous bubbles. If you don't know, this keeps fog out, and that's really important for me because I ride a lot in the wet weather and in the cold, and uh, the worst thing is foggy windshield in very cold weather or rainy weather. This new helmet has Bluetooth built in. Apparently, Louis made a deal, or they put it in themselves before selling it. Uh, more importantly, this helmet is quiet, allowing the Bluetooth to work as it's supposed to. I can hear the music. I can hear the, the notes of the piano, uh, the notes of the violin. Um, I can hear the Navi without it blasting in my ear uh, incomprehensibly. Um, I haven't tried actually using a phone call with it, but I was listening to an audiobook, and I, I can tell you it was great. So basically... The, the, this helmet with the Bluetooth is so much better than the old one. So here it is. Here's the helmet I bought and the one that I pimped up. The first thing you'll notice, it's black. I've added 3M retroflective yellow stripes. These are cut out from a much bigger piece of tape. Here is the goatee. Here are my eyebrows the Angry Bird eyebrows. Uh, you can think of these as ears. Uh, get some good side reflection so that people don't T-bone you. And of course from the top for that emergency case when you're lying in a ditch somewhere at night. And here's the other side. And also as we pan around in the back. Now we'll show you something interesting about this back. The black thing in between the two stripes is for the break free brake light system. As a quick demonstration, you can find videos elsewhere on the internet. This is the brake free system. Um, it was a Kickstarter project that I heavily invested in, bought two of these. They didn't fit the old helmet, so finally I'm using it for the first time. Now the camera is going to try to do some auto adjusting of the light levels. Just ignore that. You will see the effect in a second when I walk across the room and then slow down. It gets bright not only when stopping, but slowing down. The brake-free light attaches to that tab. When it is not attached, the retroreflective stripes could possibly help. And here you see the mounting plate for my Garmin Verb Elite camera. Uh, it's basically a GoPro with GPS and features. The plate comes with some really good 3M sticky stuff, dual-sided tape, which is all-weather, indoor-outdoor, the problem is, is the plate itself is flat, the helmet is not, and so it doesn't really form a good grip. With the old one, the, uh, the old helmet, it had a slightly less roundish top, and I was able to stabilize it with some toothpicks that I put on each side, but with this one, that didn't work at all. So what you're seeing here is that the plate is attached using some dual compound resin that uh, creates a very strong bond kind of like glue on steroids. Um, it's liquid enough so that it flows out to the side and tries to fill in the gaps, but it wasn't filling in the gaps perfectly. Uh, does seem pretty stable. I hope it works. <laughs> we'll probably find out in a few hundred kilometers. All right, well, that's my pimp up my helmet video. If you have any comments, suggestions, ideas, thoughts, leave a comment below and uh, Okay, it's a day. All right, ride safe.